Hello all, welcome back to part 17 of Centaur Era Elementalist. That's not something that I ever imagined I'd be seeing. We are sort of... Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> oh, where's my character? Okay, good. Uh, we are sort of heading towards the end though. We've got 11 of the 15 runes. We picked up our first hell rune in the last one. And I think we're going to continue with hell. I've never done this new tomb on a caster anymore, so I'm not quite sure when I want to go in, but I don't know, I think probably we'll leave Tomb for last. We did Gehenna, I don't, I'm really bad at pronouncing these, I'm sure that's wrong. Um, last one, and I think next we're going to go into Tartarus. I often call that Tartarus, but Tartarus seems more correct. This is the undead themed one. If you're going in here, you definitely want to have as much RN as possible. You also want to have a good amount of RC. The fiends that you find in this hell are Tsitsumuls, formerly of Shadow Fiend fame. Um, so they have bolts of cold, they have torment, and if you're undead, um, they have to spell undead. So actually, that's something to consider as well. If you're an undead person, this rune is actually significantly scarier. Does Aresh have that? This is the Aresh. No, she doesn't. Okay. She's the hell, the hell lord of this one. Again, doesn't actually give her a gender, but her title is literally of a woman. So I'm pretty confident in saying Aresh is a she. So let's go in. Alright, same rules apply. We just want to dive, basically. Um, and immediately I forgot that I should be regening. I'm so bad at regen. Don't know why. Okay, we feel ill. That is a storm dragon. I actually, I saw a post about this um, on Reddit today, in fact where someone pointed this out um, and said that this is probably bugged. I think that's probably true because you don't normally get living dragons or dire elephants here in hell. Anyway, so let's get a tornado going. And I guess we put on the stuff of air so we don't take um, elect damage from that, from that dragon. So yeah, that's not something, you normally don't need to worry about having Aralek when you're in here, but uh, it seems like at the moment you do. Yeah, what is this? We've got fire giants in our undead hell, and caca demons. Hmm, I suspect this is funky. Um, I want to airstrike the caca demon so that we don't get mutated. We got spellcasting to 22. I think that's enough. I'm happy to turn that off. So we're just going to go all in air magic to get to 27. And then I've been... Oh, okay. Death Drakes. I uh, also want to have our poison. Death Drakes are no joke. Ugh. It's a whole bunch of things, Animal Line Gateway. I am going to control blink away. Right, and we have our curing potions again. <laughs> so we're gonna quaff off that sickness and we're just gonna go down. Okay, we we're just messing around there when um, I had simply run past the exit like a... Yeah, I don't like this. Needing Aralek into t Tartarus is not... Okay. Uh, Bolt of Cold is my go-to spell. Okay, good. Well, if it was just him on his own, that was okay. Alright, here's our first Sitsumul. Let's go... I'm gonna try Tornado. And I guess Orbit Destruction while he's right next to us. He is flying. So we can... We can use Airstrike fairly well. <sighs> Doomhounds. Okay. They're really dangerous. I'm actually... Tormentor. Okay. I want to rest up, but I don't really want to be somewhere... Ah, uh, we're just going to go out. We're going to start again. We're not really that far in, so I don't mind just coming out and then we'll, we'll 
try again. All right, round two. So I think I've tried to make about three or four different points and been distracted on all of them. Okay, one, Doomhounds are really scary. They give you a, um, a status, I think it's called house status, and that, while it's active on you, it summons a bunch. Why are there gold dragons here? This is, there's certainly something funky going on. Okay, while you have the house status on you, it summons uh, rather scary monsters. So it will bring Sitsumals, it will bring Shadow Dragons, um, Bone Dragons, I think. Yeah, it completely, there you go, well, we're about to see it. It completely ignores your MR. So there's really not much you can do other than not give it. It's smite targeted as well, so actually there's really nothing you can do about it. If you get Howled and you're about to die, you can cancel it off. We only have three and we're full HP and full mana, so I think we're probably okay. But I know things are coming, so I'm going to preemptively Tornado. Okay, so that was the first point. Hey, you can eat them too. Um, we want to get the Sitsumal. Let's go Tornado again. Okay, it looks like you can get Shadow Demons. Um, we are maybe in a less okay place now. Okay, we're no longer Howled, but we're really low on HP. I think we just come in a third time. Alright, round three. Fight. Storm Dragons in Hell. Okay. Okay, so that was point one. Doomhound's bad. Point two, I've been thinking about what I want to... Okay, we got tormented by the hell effect. I've been thinking about what I want to do for Tomb. And I still am not sure why are there Hydras here? This is not, this is not right. Also, why did a Reaper get summoned? Let's airstrike the, the Flayed Ghost. Now we got Draconians. This is really, really funky. These are all things that should not be in Hell. We're in the Undead Hell and there are regular Draconians and Hydras. I'm not... I don't remember ever reading a change about this happening. Uh, we can just win him. Okay. Oh, air magic to swing 27. Sweet. So I guess this is a good time to actually try to make that point. So I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. I don't know if we can try to eke out our tomb like this, or whether I should train another... AOE spell like Glaciate. The problem with Tornado is that it's kind of slow and in all the turns that you're blowing the greater mummies around they can be tormenting you. <laughs> we certainly need more dodging. That's one thing for sure. Another thing is that it wouldn't be a bad idea to train more invocations so that we get more magic back when we use channel mana. I don't know. I want more fighting, I want more armor, I want more dodging, I want more invocations, and I want to be able to cast Glaciate. Is that too much? Yes, it is. I think our defenses are kind of okay. Our evasion is so bad. Part of that though is because we only have 10 decks, which is quite low. 45 AC is good, 29 shields really good, 9 evasion is not. Do we want more dodging then, or just more fighting? Part of the problem for a centaur is that they have a minus 3 aptitude in dodging. Maybe we want Glaciate. We have a lot of brilliance. I feel like we probably could brilliance our way to using it. Alright, let's do it. Are we really doing this? Well, I can turn Conjurations on and focus Ice Magic. We probably still need to get them to about 20 each. I don't know. This is quite a skill investment for Tomb when I'm not sure we really need it. I'm going to say let's not do it just because I want to show you that you can do Tomb without 
Glacier or something like that or Firestorm. So let's go focus fighting. I'm also going to turn on armor and dodging and invocations. Just, <laughs> just a few. Yeah, just a few spells. Alright, let's get regen going. Sitsumo, get away from me. Let's cast Control Blink. We miscast it. He fortunately tried to attack us rather than tormenting us. Okay, and we are faster. So, let's channel magic. We can do a malign gateway and then just run away. And maybe the malign gateway just wins. Tentacle f connect failed. What the heck? Severed status zero. Path to 934 from 833 mid. 14836 count one. I'm going to say that's not meant to happen. I wonder if the system will die. <laughs> Why is there a frost giant here? Why is my game broken? This game's been hard enough without having to fight to deal with broken malign gateways and um, random alive enemies. What was that book? I don't know, I've lost the plot. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, we picked up a book. Sif Muna's Volume of Unholy Arts. And there is nothing we want in there. There's probably nothing anywhere. I don't know. For about 10 episodes now, I've been saying I don't know why I still check. I still don't know, but I'm still checking. Hello, Tsitsumo. You're in the tornado. Not anymore, you're not. Let's go again. We failed. There we go. And I guess we just weren't bane him. He did not torment us once in about 10 turns. That was very lucky. Stare down. Let's just keep diving. This time we got lucky. Here's a gold dragon. Why, why are you here? Why am I firing orbs at you when you're vulnerable to worm bane? These are all good questions. Why is there a Titan? What? Ugh. Let's blink away again. He's really bad because we don't have our elect normally. And if we use, I'm going to channel magic. If we use tornado against him, he is going to get extra airstrike damage. This one should get him. The line gateway, good. I like enemies in here. Hmm. An enemy will line gateway. Tentacle connect failed. What the heck? What the heck indeed? Why is there a Catopopus in Undead Hell? This has got to be a bug, right? I mean, we get to eat him, so I guess that's nice. There's this spiny frog in the undead hell. I think the game's broken. I mean, this is what you get when you play Trunk. Stuff like this can happen. That's a Lich, a Shadow Demon, and a Tsitsumo all at the same time. Let's try a Tornado. We've got our three points of MR, so that's okay. Our paralyzed chance is 9%. That's actually kind of scary. If we got paralyzed next to a Tsitsumo, I dare say we would die. Not this time, though. Let's get down, get down, get down. This looks like a kind of ending floor, but it's not. We're only on Tatara 6, Tartarus. Priority one Hellion, not the random turtle. I 
I don't know why I'm even bothering. It's just annoying me. Okay, here we are. We're on seven. We have we have magic mappings for each one. We have three health floors left, even with blurry vision. Yeah. Yeah. That's got to be an unseen horror, I assume. Okay, fine. Oh, it's not because we're slowed. All right. Let's just chill here, I guess. We can make a malign gateway to help us if it doesn't just break. <laughs> okay, it did not do a lot of helping. Okay, it went neutral. Yeah, that's fine. What the heck? Error. Failed to place monster in tentacle connect change. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we'll, rather than wait around, I think I'd rather just channel magic. Okay, so in this one, you have this sort of strange area here. That's a treasure room. This is a treasure room. Um, a resh is in the bottom of this maze. So I usually don't even bother with this treasure, I just go straight for a rush because I don't like being in hell. Um, I'm kind of hoping that we don't see the Serpent of Hell here. So there's a unique called the Serpent of Hell and it appears in every game but which hell you see it in is random and it will be themed to that hell. So the two that are usually the best are um, the fire and cold ones because they basically just do fire and cold elemental damage to you and you should have a lot of that when you're in that hell. Whereas the one that I'm most... Why are there titans here? Mm. The one that I'm most afraid of also is he summoning things? I oh, know, it's very, very strange. Um, the scariest one is Dis, because that one has Crystal Spear. That particular Serpent of Hell has ended my 12 streak in the last tournament. Um, I always severely underrate it, even when it has killed me in previous tournaments. Um, I guess we can have a to like a one square tornado. I know the Sitsumul's coming, so... Okay, yeah. We're good. Uh, more channel magic. So yeah, if I really hope it's not the this one. I'm just gonna make auto travel, figure out the maze, because uh, that's difficult for me. And that way, uh, you don't have to think. Alright. So yeah, um, I think the next scariest after this is probably this one. And then, yeah, the fire and cold ones are just extra elemental damage when you've got those resist. Mm, what do we do about you? You're really close. We don't have a great way of dealing with them when they're really close. We can do a tornado. Um, we learnt that nets don't really work very well in tornado. And we're just going to wormbane it. Okay. Thank you, wormbane. Hey, gold. <laughs> Thought we just got jebated. <laughs> It's going to be this, I know it already. Damn you game. We can put on C and Viz. Um, I guess we have to take off our RN to do it. Invocations to 11. It might be worth taking off the drain blink RF triple plus ring because well I don't know now because we've seen gold dragons and stuff but usually there is no fire damage in here so I don't know anymore 
Mm. One of the things Arash does, I brought it up but didn't talk about her abilities very well. Um, it's that. To do that, you do question mark forward slash and then monster. M for monster. Okay, so she's got, she can summon greater demons, which sits and walls, etc. Um, she can silence you. Be wary of that because she's really fast as well. Um, she can silence you, hold you with her, and then torment you to death. She's also got a paralyze, which is at 8%, and a major healing. So similar to Lom, she's not as not as swingy as Lom because she doesn't then glaciate you. But still, you can think that Arash is nearly dead and then guess what? She's not. Um, she heals a bunch. Alright, so uh, same plan. We're going to try to steal the room, but I need to be wary Oh, right, we're right at the room. Okay, let's get our slow off before we do that. Uh, we need to be wary of silence, and I think maybe I should put on the MR ring. We'll cop a drain to do it by taking off um, this ring. We definitely need three points of RN because um, she has torment, and so do all the fiends that are likely in there. Um, but an 8% chance to get paralyzed, we could just die. Yeah, I think it's worth it. The bit of drain that we're going to get is not a huge deal. So it's that one. Yep. Okay, we are drained. We're quite quite drained, but that's okay. We've got five haste. Um, this might be a decent time to use haste because we don't... If we get silence especially, we're going to be trapped with her. So what I want to do is regen. I'm going to say we should call for Brilliance because all this drain makes our controlled blink especially worse. So let's call for Brilliance. We're going to call for Haste. And then I'm also going to put down a passage from here. Okay, so that lets us escape. So we're going to walk in, try to port the rune, jump in our passage, and then run out of here. Okay. Oh, he broke my passage. That was a perfect passage. Oh, that's better though, because this one's still there. Okay, never mind. New plan. Uh, I'm really afraid now. Uh, we've got the Tsitsumul. We haven't seen the rune yet. Um, there's a Quicksilver Dragon who can actually... Um, if he hits us, he can take off all our buffs. So actually, change of plan. We've got to deal with this stuff first. We can't make Malign Gateway in here. Um, can't really step on that. I can because I didn't make another gate. Okay. Alright. So we can. It's the Quicksilver Dragon, really. Yeah, like that. <laughs> we've got all our buffs taken off. Okay. The idea of facing one of him at the same time as a Sitsumul, and the same time as a Resh, uh, it's too much. So we just lost all our buff stuff, but that's not... It's better than dying. Rather waste a haste, and a brilliance, etc., than die. Let's try again. So we can put our passage down. Oh, you can't put it on doors. No, you can, but I just couldn't see it. That is a terrible passage. Something frightening happens. It's always what you want to see. Oh, okay. Aresh is out at the same time as the Sitsumul. So she got attracted out. Um, I think we need to haste. Um, Quaff Brilliance. And how do we deal with this? Um, I don't think we easily do other than maybe going to the end and then control blinking past her and then just running. That might do it. And then teleporting out. That might be the play. She has torment. So 
and she can always silence so you got to be afraid so yeah we're now hasted let's brilliance okay it's really scary when it's both her and the Sitsumo at the same time let's also regen because there are two potential sources and she just silenced us okay well I think we just run now Okay, I'm really glad the hell effect didn't just summon things on top of us. Alright, so that was the nightmare. <laughs> uh, what do we do now? She's she's out of her home. And she's chasing us still, maybe? No, she's not. There's a shock serpent! This is the undead hell. That's not meant to happen. Okay, maybe she's gone back home. We're running out of haste though. We've got three left. I don't like this. We're gonna want at least one for... Yeah, are there more in the game? I don't think so. Yeah, we're gonna want at least one for Tomb. We want at least one for the Serpent of Hell. And we probably want one for Kakaidus. So I don't know that we can afford to haste anymore here. Which is very scary. Alright, that's okay. Please be back in your home. You're not, you're here. What do we do? I can passage over there. Okay. I was hoping that I would I might get the passage in front of her. Which meant that she would go in and get passaged over there and then we just run past her. But that didn't work. We can passage back there ourselves. How about if I now wait for her to come and then we can troll blink past her. This is so insane. I th Does this work without haste? I don't know. Let's make another passage and maybe she'll step in one of these and end up there. She did! It worked! It worked! <laughs> okay, but she's too fast. We need a haste. It's not gonna work otherwise. There's a Titsumo. This is so bad. Um, let's control blink. This is so bad, I regret my decisions. I think we're doing it though. Okay, so we're just gonna go crazy with control blink. I don't care how contaminated I get. I do not want to be anywhere near a rash. Control blink, go. We miscast it at a 11%. Um, our brilliance ran out. We never used brilliance. Okay, let's read our teleport scroll now. Uh, let's not, let's get away from it, it's all. So we're gonna blink to this corner. So we've only got one on the screen at a time. Let's read our teleport because we're slow. Um, so I don't want to have two Sitsumors while we're slowly reading a teleport. Oh, this is like the worst ninjuring ever. Okay, we're very nearly dead. Let's apport the rune. Whoop, we're, we're lagging out here. Let's apport the rune, not the gold. Uh, pick it up. Uh, we're going to need to just quaff heal wounds while we wait for this to kick in. This is really not a good demonstration of stealing the rune. Uh, where's my teleport? Okay, uh, I think we're alright. I don't... Do I want to use my last heal wounds? Not really. Also, I don't think... This is a really delayed teleport for some reason. Still... I'm just coughing curing. Okay, there we go. We finally got out. Alright here. Oh, uh, we can kill this guy. <laughs> and let's leave. Let's never come back because this was a complete and utter fiasco. Okay, so we're out of teleports. We're out of um, heal wounds except for one. So not out of teleports, we're almost out of haste. Uh, we're pretty much out of heal wounds, and yeah. Why are there titans in hell? 
Uh, control Blink will make us even more contaminated. We've only got one mutation. I think it might just be better to quaff cancellation. Uh, yeah, it probably is. We're still very contaminated. Ah, uh, whatever. We need to get out of here. I'm just gonna blink, control blink, and then... Okay, we feel our magical essence link with our wands. We're gonna passage over there. I really don't want to get howled. They seem to be fast. We got howled. It's alright if we're out of hell. Okay. Uh, so these guys are still going to appear on us. It's the Sitsimals that we're really worried about, if any of those come. Like that. Um, well, let's get more contaminated. What the hell? Let's just leave hell and rest up. Alright, so we're going to get... We feel less energetic, so we had extra magic, so that's not too bad. And we're done. So it's not too bad. We lost our extra magic points and we got our ones linking to our mana. So you have to have three per cast. It's not a huge deal. Jeez. What a hell though. Um, I'm kind of afraid to go into this without, with only two haste. I feel like maybe change of plans, we go to Tomb now, because Tomb, Tomb will likely have a lot of good loot, and it also gives us the Zig figurine, which is a really good panic button. Alright, I convinced myself, we're going to Tomb. Jeez. <laughs> that was such a bad, bad, bad. Tartarus. Also, why do these guys hurt so much? We have 45 AC and they are winning. We've got seven bread rations. Am I afraid of starving? A little, but I don't want to tell you that. No, wait, we can eat We can eat the sphinxes in here. Oh, hello, greater mummy. Hello, Khufu. So that's not the entrance to tomb that you want. Um, Khufu marked as red, as just general greater mummies are, but he's a scarier greater mummy. He's uh, more powerful. Uh, has more HP and then does a funky thing where when he's about to die he can surround himself in a tomb So if you don't have digging you can't kill him All right, there's also something else I wanted to do before I came in here Let's get a malign gateway But yeah, this isn't I certainly don't want to fight Him and multiple greater mummies at once mm, How would I kill him? I'd have to dig a kill hole and try to fight them one at a time, but even that's kind of scary. Hmm. Scrolls of silence in this game, none. Only the silence spell. Hmm. I don't like my odds of doing anything here. I'm kind of just seeing... Oh, my malign gateway petrified him. I wonder if... Uh, speaking of getting jebated, I wonder if that's going to jebate us. Yeah, it probably is. Oh, but Khufu's so nearly dead. <laughs> this one's confused. Khufu's nearly dead and petrified, but this one is fully alive, and there's also a flayed ghost. Man... I would love for Khufu to be dead. Can we wait one more turn? He's so nearly dead, but so are we. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh man, we almost died. And we're starving. Alright. <laughs> so, greater mummies. <laughs> okay, we've got Khufu on his own. I'm gonna blink away from him though. And then, orbit destruction him from range. 
We've learnt that Orbit Destruction takes down Serebov, so it can certainly kill Khufu. Good. We're going to regen again. Similar thing. We can probably Tornado, maybe. Uh, no, let's just take one up. Same thing. Blink away. And just Orbit Destruction. They're so strong. Last one. Okay. He's gone. So the way you want to do this is you want to stick... Are we just going to die to this guy? I think so. You want to stick close to the walls. And there's actually something we need to do before I come in here that I forgot about. I want to find Lee's Rapid Deconstruction. we got to run all the way back to Orc. Apparently that's closest. Okay. Uh, we are doing this with barely any food. <laughs> Is there food around? I know I, I left fruit everywhere. Uh, well, let's get that fruit that's on D9 because that's on the way to Orc. Or at least it's close. I don't know. We might, we might need all the food we can get. Hey, yaks, we can eat those guys. Yeah. Okay, let's pick up that fruit. Uh, there's more fruit around. It's in the shop. Yeah. Okay. So we got 12 fruit now, <laughs> along with our six bread. Uh, we want to find Lee. It's in Orc. Lee's Rapid Deconstruction. We have four spell levels. Perfect. We can't memorize that many levels yet. Oh, Lee's is a level five spell. Huh. Alright, we're going to need to forget one then. Forget a spell. Um, maybe less of Beckoning. I said I wanted to try it out and then we haven't used it. And let's drop... Um... Why do we have six resist I mean, enchant armor scrolls? Let's just do our shields because at this point, I think it's fairly obvious that we're never going to see a centaur barding ever again. So we may as well just do both of our shields. I'm still using the AC one even though I want to go to the positive energy one. Um, right, so we can learn Lee's. Yep, we can drop the book. And we also need the Staff of Earth. Staff of Earth. We are carrying one. No, we're not. We're carrying a Staff of Energy. Staff of Earth. Okay. Alright. Okay, let's go back to Tomb. And you will, this will make sense um, soon. Feeling hungry, no. Okay, so stick to the outside. Because um, when you see all the sphinxes, uh, you don't want to fight them all at once. Bolt of Cold basically does nothing to him. I'm not sure why I'm even bothering. Airstrike's probably better. Yeah, we've got him. Good. Uh, when you see the sphinxes, you want to dig into the wall. So, uh, yeah, stick to the outside. Quicksilver Dragons. Is there just something funky going on with um, the undead spawn tables? Because that's not something that should be spawning in Tomb either. Hey, we can eat the Quicksilver Dragon. I guess I shouldn't complain. Hey, we don't have our deflected missiles. Right, because he, of course, um, purges those off as well. Hey, more haste. Sweet. The smite on the sphinxes isn't that bad when there's one, but if you have eight of them all smiting you at once, no good. So dig a kill hole like this, and then use your 
Your favorite method of choice to fight them one at a time. And then you can also um, choose to bring any greater mummies you find back here as well. Cool. All right. So now you're maybe going to see, hey, more food. Let's just eat it off the ground like a savage. All right, you're maybe gonna see why we wanted the stuff of Earth. Okay, the scariest part about Tomb now. Um, okay, so Tomb, you used to be able to just stare dance, and it was not impossible to die, but very difficult to die if you just did that. You go down the stairs, you pull up a greater mummy or two, you kill it upstairs, and then you'd rest up and repeat. Um, to prevent that. Uh, tomb now only has hatches, not stairs. So, particularly on Tomb 2, when you go from Tomb 1 down to Tomb 2, it's really terrifying because you land in the middle of the floor. It's kind of like when you go down to Vaults 5. You're surrounded by mummies and you've got to, first of all, find the stairs and then get to them if you want to get off. So, um, you can avoid that if you blow open the walls in here. So if you have shatter, you can shatter and blow open these walls. But even without any earth magic training, if you have a staff of earth to increase the power, actually, what's our spell hunger on this? Maybe we don't want to do that. Can we cast Lee's without hunger? We can, even with staff of earth. Okay, no mind, we're fine. <laughs> Not normally consideration, but our food is a bit of an issue. Um, and then we have a lot of brilliance. We've got seven, so you can do that too. Uh, you can blow this wall open and you can avoid having to do that bit. So the way that tomb usually works, you do tomb one, you go down to tomb two, you do the whole ambush bit, you go up the stairs back into tomb one, and you're in this inside bit here, inside this wall. And there's no way of knowing which side, but you come up either on the right here or the left, you go all around the stairway, and then you go back down to Tomb 2. So it's that second bit of Tomb 2 that we can get to if we blow open this wall, and we can skip the first part of it. So yeah, one of these sides will be the correct one, but it's just a 50-50 guess. If you magic mapping, you'd be able to tell. The side that you don't want will have two hatches on it. The side that you do want will just have one. But anyway... So we quaffed our brilliance, we've got our stuff of earth. What letter is Lazon F? Okay, so just pick a corner. Don't shoot yourself with it. And then Oh man, I whoops, that's not it. I really wish I had a repeat previous action button. Oh my god. Okay, so it might take a few goes. And by a few goes, I mean a lot. But eventually, um, this will work. Hey, we lost our magic. Let's uh, channel magic. And it's also worth noting that the wall's really thick, so we're going to have to do this a few times. <laughs> That's all right. Um, channel magic again. Hey, we got one. Round two. Yep, okay, so we've blown it open. So now we've got access to this bit of tomb one, and so we can then skip the ambush part. Let's start backing up though, because that stairwell has a lot of greater mummies in it. Um, we don't want to fight them all at the one time. Let's see if our malign gateway will just kill that stuff. Nope. Alright, we don't have our poison on without Wimbane. I quaffed off the sickness because um, I don't want to wait around. Okay, cool. And basically, uh, yeah. So now we're going to try to lure out the mummies one at a time. And we're going to try to find 
um, our way back down to tomb 2 that skips the ambush floor. <laughs> He's just there petrified. I think this is gonna work. I'm just gonna back off. Actually, we could just bring them into our hidey hole here if they come. I think we can fight a greater mummy one on one like this with Wormbane. It does hurt though. Oh, hungry ghosts! No! Hungry ghosts! That's actually so bad! Oh man. I hope we can just block all his attacks. The Hungry Ghost is like the worst enemy for us right now. <laughs> oh man, feels bad. We're gonna have to eat. Damn you, Hungry Ghost. How did you know, game? A new scroll? What don't we know? So backslash and minus shows you the scrolls that you've never seen. Acquirement and silence. Oh, that's idea. Is this our first acquirement scroll? It is. What do I want? Okay, if you've never seen a barding before as a centaur, it's kind of a hidden knowledge. Um, you can get, you will pretty much always get a barding if you acquire armor. We have a really good weapon. Um, we kind of want more rings, but acquiring rings is really unreliable. I think we just acquire armor and hope we get some really sweet helmet or something like that. Armor. An artifact barding. A plus eight center barding of plus eight in. Oh, wow. Thank you, game. Um, we are putting that on. That is amazing. So our our low our low int spellcasting centaur gets an extra eight int to take us to thirty six. That is amazing. Um, let's drop our centaur biting of stealth. We also get an extra plus four AC to boot. Amazing. Why are you the death scarab is blocking? Oh no, we accidentally hit the Eldritch Tentacle. Uh, we need to get away from these Scarabs. They're going to slow us, and so we're going to be stuck um, eating Torments. Mm, let's just go a Tornado. Okay. <laughs> Very determined Emperor Scorpion. Let's go another malign gateway. Try not to shoot him with an orb of destruction. All right, here we go. Okay, got him. You are feeling very hungry. Mm hmm. Oh, well, we finally got slowed. I was waiting for it to happen and it just never did. Oh, we had a torment. Okay. Can the mummy just win? I'm sorry, the gateway just win. Doesn't seem like it. I'm really quite afraid. I was feeling good about this character after a long time of feeling very bad about him. But now, I don't know, I'm starting to feel bad again. <laughs> that that attempt in hell where everything just went horrible and we lost a lot of our consumables and now we're starving to death. It's really made me question <laughs> our long-term survivability. Even our short-term survivability really. Oh man. The ones that summon death scarabs um, are really bad for us, it seems. Because not only do they block our orb of destruction, which is really 
our only real means of killing these guys, but they also then slow us. And centaurs want to be fast. It's in their nature. No, don't block it. Oh, we got him. Oops, not like that. Yeah, as you are seeing, that inner chamber always has a lot of greater mummies. Also, what's our Malign Gateway doing? We just went AFK. Gotta help us out, dude. Alright, this works too. Is carrying gold just in case he wanted to to buy some things here in tomb. Good, getting hungry again. I'm still not really afraid. Um, can't tell which one this is. Um, I need to explore a little more to figure out whether that's the the side we want or not. Oh. Go Malign Gateway. Connector placement failed. Failed to place monster and tentacle connect change. Feels bad. That also sort of leads to my uneasiness. How Malign Gateway doesn't work properly. Okay, so the side we want will have only one hatch. Um, I think this is it. Hmm, this isn't good either. So I'm pretty sure that's it, because, oops, on the one for the ambush side, you have the hatch where you come up, and then you, actually I can tell which one, I'm an idiot, they look, they look similar, but we can actually see, never mind, oops, tried to walk into the wall, okay, this is a staircase leading down, okay, so this is the side we want because otherwise that would be a staircase leading up. All right, good. So uh, we're now gonna skip the ambush. Uh, okay, it wasn't the right one. It turns out we actually are in the ambush. So I did all of that and then uh, we're still doing the ambush. Oh God. This has just been a disaster, disaster of an episode. All right, so we need to get off the ambush. <laughs> Uh, which means, oh dear, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so uh, we need to know which side the stair is on. So basically we need to magic map. And then fortunately we have the ability to control blink. So we can get out relatively easy. So we magic map, even with blurry vision. Yep, so this is what the ambush looks like. <laughs> Uh, we're just going to control blink up and then get up the stairs and then try to do this a second time. Oh dear. Hey, there's an ancient lich. And a frost giant. Apparently. So yeah. Uh, there's definitely something wrong with the undead monster spawn tables. Control blink around. And we go back up. Okay, and this is... No, but this is the other side. So what's going on here? Why did that stair take us into the ambush and not into the side passage? I'm really confused now. 
really, really confused. Hmm. I thought I knew how this worked, but now I just am very confused. Well, this this is a side with only one. What? No. Okay. So that's that's the stair you normally go down for the ambush. Okay. Yes. That's that's fine. I get that. Okay. So we weren't in the outside passage. Now I'm a bit less confused. Okay. Good. Hey, we get to eat. Okay. So we need to go back inside. Apparently, this was the wrong side. And we got to go over to the other one. So we got more greater mummies to fight. Oh, we can't malign gateway in here. I don't know, everything's going wrong. Good. We're sick. Um, we have a lot of curing, we'll just cure out of it. Maybe we'll just bring him back to the, the kill hole. Didn't even come. Well, hello. Yeah, it's alright. We can just we can just worm bane him. Can we? Yeah, apparently. He had a scroll of holy word. He must have confiscated that off someone. Probably a an earlier adventurer. Because that's not something that he should have as a mummy. Hey, Amnesia Scrolls. Oh dear. Ancient Lich. We missed? We missed again? Let's get a malign gateway to help us. <laughs> he hasted the Lich, I think. I don't know, the leech might have hasted himself, but still. Uh, they can do that. So the malign gateway can, if you're unlucky, actually harm you. But most of the time they're pretty good. Where are you, greater mummy? We're not stealthy though. Why are we so good at stealth on this character? Mm, need that stuff to get out of the way. I think he's fighting. We feel more experienced. It looks like he won. That is noxious fumes for some reason. Hey, food. I still am confused about this though, because I was fairly confident that the side that only has one would always be the stair that you wanted. I'm gonna need to see the other side just to try to figure, make sense of this. <laughs> I don't know, it's just... This episode is obviously meant to be a disaster. I'm airstriking the flayed ghost because he's actually very threatening. As is the hungry ghost. <laughs> if we're being honest. Ugh. Where's your master? Oh, the death curse torment, it's always fun. Where'd your master go? We're not stealthy. There you are. No, that's a new one. I just want to get away from him. We're too close. Oh, 
He made too many flake ghosts. Let's get away. Can airstrike them. Greater mummies are so strong. You see, they they eat more orbit destructions than even the fiends do. Yes, food. Can't carry that many items. We need the food though. We can drop the stuff of Earth. Um, we can use the same trick. Actually, let's just forget. Um, Leads rapid deconstruction. Oh no, we can do the same thing in Zot actually. Never mind. Um, so maybe we should keep our stuff and stuff. Let's drop wizardry. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so never mind. I don't know. I'm losing the plot. I think I actually have already lost it. I mean, having the having to do this hallway at the top, where you have to fight so many greater mummies, it is difficult. But I think it's still much more, um, much safer and much easier than. Jeez, mummies everywhere. Than doing the ambush bit where you fight them all at once. Oh yeah, we have no more magic. Part of the problem with Malign Gateway is that because they make so many summons, um, the Malign Gateway gets confused and just goes for their summons. Um, we got more. strong round two let's bring him to the gateway it's got too many summons I wonder if the I don't know that the gateway listens to you that's a really loud plane maybe it does um yeah, if you instruct it to attack a particular enemy, I don't know if it listens to you or not. It's still going. We've got a couple more. This might have been easier just to pick up the silence spell and then just wormbane them all. I quite like using silence in tomb. Particularly to deal with this up a bit. I uh, should not be fighting them all. That guy was so nearly dead though. Ah, uh, tomb. Tomb, tomb, tomb. Let's try again. I knew that was going to hit the wall. Just... You just always hit the wall when it's directly in front of you. It's just a thing. Oh man, this guy is a tormenting beast. And now he's gonna summon the scarabs. Can we just airstrike him down? No. Oh dear. This guy too. The scarab moved out of the way, so that was handy. Now we're running out of food again. Oh man. The problem with Tomb is that you have to do a lot of resting because Torment makes you lose a lot of HP. <laughs> Don't go down this one, I should exit. 
Maybe what I should have done actually once I determined that was not the correct one, I should have gone and boiled open the other side rather than doing what we're doing here in that we're now fighting the whole hallway. This is an anaconda. Hey, we can eat those. No, we can't. We can get a corpse. Feels bad. Still going. Can make a tornado. I mean, that kind of works. Not if it um, then runs out. Never mind. Down to our last five bread rations. All you people I told not to worry about food, now you're going to be saying, I told you so. Let's get in our hidey hole. You can only have one malign gateway active, by the way. So when I made that second one, it collapsed the first one. Dodging to 12. We feel more experienced. I wonder... Killed the mummy. Nice. I wonder if we should stop learning dodging. <laughs> we're still only at 9 EV. It's so bad. Yeah, we're basically getting no return for our dodging training. Hmm. Get your summons out of the way. Also, why are you so strong? Really just want to get the mummy. Go away. Go away. Go away. Please, just time out. Please. Tomb is actually making me lose my mind. Air strike? Good. We're still going. It's the Death Scarab type. It's, they're really scary, actually. Yeah, I don't know that we can fight that guy unless we're out in the open. Well, actually the opposite, as in we need to bring him all the way to our kill hole. Because we're going to be really threatened anytime he makes death scarabs. Can we get him? No, not quite. One more. He's going to do the scarabs. No, he didn't. We must be, I was going to say, we must be nearly at the end of this. Here's another scarab, dude. Oh, man. Hit the wall. No. 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 One more. No. What happened there? Do we fail it? We just hit the wall. Okay, I'm just running into the kill hole. This is never working. <laughs> Bloody tomb. <laughs> no, we're still going. It's enough. It's too many mummies. Oh dear. I mean, this, 
This would have been easier with Glacier, I guess. Okay, I've got, I want to have Wormbane out so we are not getting really poisoned by that Miasma. Good. As we get hungrier and hungrier. Okay, so this only has one. So it looks like they both have one. But I thought when you came up this, there's always a way to come down. Wait. I don't know. How do you tell then? Because when you when you come up one of these, oh you just come up at a random spot. So actually I don't know how you tell which side is the ambush and which is not. Maybe the ambush side is always on the no, they're both on inside corners. Okay. Well, the answer is I don't know how to help you. <laughs> one of them leads to the ambush and one leads to the other side that you actually want. And I don't know how to tell you which is which. So, yeah, that's not good. So this should be the non-ambush one. Yes. Okay, this is better. See, so this one lets you stair dance effectively because you can just come up this stair here. You can go up and down. Okay, and this is the one that lets you skip the ambush. Hey, there's food. Yes. May as well explore this. Okay, so we've got our three stairs going down. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. If you can figure out how you tell which one is which, can you please uh, leave me a comment? Uh, because yeah, I don't really like that I've just shown you a method to do tomb that gives you a 50-50 of landing in the middle of the ambush you're trying to avoid. Hmm. Because it looked identical, right? We can go back up and have a look. Yeah, we'll really go through it. Alright, oh, it brought us back out here. Ugh. How do you tell? Is it just a 50-50? Because I was under the impression that... Because you do need a stair that takes you back down to the ambush bit. Because presumably when you come up from the ambush, you end up... What well, would be on this side? Because we, we worked out this right side was back down to the ambush. So when you come up, you come up in this corner. And then if you work, fight your way back over here, you can go back down again. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you tell which one's which if you blew open the wall like we did. Oh well. Hope you're lucky. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna stop that here. Um But where I don't wanna be I don't really wanna be near the Zot traps either. I guess we'll go to that one over there. Okay, we're ready to do our tomb three. We're not gonna start that now. Because it's been an hour and 12 but if you join me in the next one we'll do tomb 3 we'll try not to starve to death <laughs> and we'll try to get our golden rune of zot see you later